Thank you, Benjamin. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, Hallelujah. welcome everybody on, on, on Zoom link. Share, share, share this video so somebody can be blessed today. Comparte, comparte este video para que alguien sea bendecido en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 So as like I was saying, there's a lot of God's people that, that pray. And I got to say, Lord, give me more faith. That's a wrong kind of praying. That's a religious teaching. That's a traditional teaching. Mucha gente dice, Dios, dame más fe. Eso es una oración equivocada. Because it never says in the Bible to ask God for more faith. It says that faith comes by hearing the word of God. Amen. So the correct way is to say, Lord, fill me with your word. Señor, lléname con tu palabra. Amen. 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 Today, you're going to hear a lot of word, and faith is going to be increased in your life. Hoy vas a recibir y escuchar mucha palabra de Dios, y la fe se va a inyectar en tu vida. How many say amen? amen? Amen. Also today, the eyes of your understanding are going to be open. Los ojos de tu entendimiento van a ser abiertos. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. First, I want to honor God and I want to give him all the glory and all the honor for this prophetic school because it is him that assigned me to do this. Le quiero darle honra, gloria a Dios, porque él es el que me puso para hacer esto. How many say amen? amen. You know, um, a lot of times people wait to get a group of people. Muchas veces la gente espera para que uh, agarrar un grupo de gente. And it doesn't work like that. When you hear from God, no matter who, who's there, the word says where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. Amen. And thank God there's more than three today. Amen. How many say amen? amen. Say, I am chosen, I am chosen and, appointed and appointed today, today to, perform to perform the signs. The, the wonders, the wonders and, the and the miracles in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Give it to the Lord. My God is great. My God is good. My God is good. He's in the house today. He's in the house today. Man of God, what, what's your name? Uh, my name is Reyes Gamino. Um, I live here in Bakersfield. And um, I came here to um, sharpen the gift. A prophecy that the Lord has already unlocked in, in, in my life, and uh, He's guided me here, uh, and He knows why, and you know why, and, and, and so I'm here to receive and learn, and as, like the man of God said, as a servant as well. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 My God is great. My, my God, God is great. great. My God is good. My, my God, God is good. He's in the house today. He's in the house today. My name is Emmanuel Hurtado, and, and I came here a while back, and, and I received some things that I believe. Usted, uh, 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 ¿Entiende inglés o no? Well, okay. okay, voy a interpretar. Okay. Mi nombre sí. es Manuel, y vivo aquí en esta ciudad, y hace poco vine aquí a recibir mucho. And so I believe, like my brother said, he's putting us in a, in a different environment. Yo creo, como mi hermano dijo, Dios nos está sacando donde estamos y nos está poniendo en otro ambiente espiritual. Y la palabra dice. And the word says. That if I abide in him. Si yo vivo en él. Él vive en mí. He lives in me. Hallelujah. He's making so, me work today. <laughs> so I'm learning. So estoy aprendiendo. I come in here. Vengo aquí. That step that we need to learn by abiding those that know that prophecy. That Ese paso word. vengo para recibir lo que muchos no lo saben en nombre de Jesús. Amen. Dele fuerte para mi salud. Hallelujah. 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 I would like to receive um, a, a new word from God, uh, something that I need to hear, and um, also to fellowship with other prophetic people. Amen. Hallelujah. My name is Abel. I'm here today. I'm looking 
I'm looking to get closer to God. And uh, through the wife of my son, I'm here and I've gotten closer because of them. I want to say, isn't it sad that there's a lot of God's people and their families get away from, 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 from God? Instead of getting closer, you know why? Because of a bad testimony. <laughs> you know, your action speaks louder than words. And, and also, you don't have no love. You know, you want to come with a hammer. Remember, we don't judge, we don't condemn. We don't know who's damo, no condenamos. That's the area of God. I'm going to say amen. Amen. Nosotros tenemos que amarnos unos con nosotros. We love each other, but there's some people you cannot love him from a distance. Amen. amen. Is that another teaching? Amen. Siga. Sí, eh, pues eh, fue la oportunidad de hablar con el profeta Rubén. I had the opportunity um, to talk to him on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Y sé que estar aquí. I know to be here. Es acercarse a Dios. Es to be with God. Aleluya. Oh, my God is great. My God is great. My God is good. My God is good. He's in the house. And tell us where you come from. Dinos de donde vienes. Because they need to know. Yo vengo, bueno, vivo en Guatemala. pero I come all the way from Guatemala. Ajá. Ajá. Y ahora estoy donde mi hijo en Los Ángeles. And I've been staying there temporarily at my um, son's house in Los Angeles. Ajá. So say the Lord is bringing. The Lord, the Lord is bringing, bringing people from the north, people from the, north, from the, from the south, from the, south, south, from the east, from the east and, the and the west. In Jesus' name. In Jesus you know one thing that impacts me? That religion and traditional teaches you. Just go to the, uh, the, the church that's right there around the corner. Yeah, vea la iglesia que está ahí. Te conviene, es more convenient. But that's not where God assigned you. Eso no es la, la lugar que donde Dios te asignó. See, today God assigned you to come here. Hoy, Dios te asignó que vinieras aquí. How many say amen? Amen. Say with me, my God is great. My God is great. My God is good. My God is good. He's in the house today. He's in the house There's people that are, their destinies are killed by religion. Like, oh, this church, my great-grandmother used to come here. My grandmother used to come here. My mother used to come here. So I have to be here. No, no, no. You have to be at the place where God's placing you to grow and to be molded and transformed to do the signs, wonders, and miracles. Tú tienes que estar en el lugar donde Dios te dice que estés para crecer, para hacer las señales, milagros, y los prodigios, para que haya una transformación en tu vida, para transformar a others. Uh, para que amen. haya una transformación en tu vida, para transformar a otros. Amen. 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 God brings you to a place like this so you can be transformed so you can transform others. How many say amen? amen. Can you just check evangelist real quick and assume it's, it's, it's okay? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Are, are, are the people on Zoom, they can see us? Yes. Okay. Let's say hi to the people on Zoom and let's give a clap of Hallelujah. 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 God is about to reveal to you and give you things. Cada tú digas tu cuaderno. Cada vez que tú vengas aquí, tú tienes que tener un cuaderno. Amén. Tú tienes que traer tu Biblia. Amén. 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 Aleluya. Say aleluya. No quiero nada. No book. We sell the notebooks for three dollars. Si no tienes un cuaderno, vendemos los cuadernos por tres dólares. Amén. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. You know, um, God has given me an anointing of numbers and colors very deep. Before I go on, I want to honor again one more time my spiritual father, Papa Long. Quiero honrar a mi padre espiritual, al profeta Lobby. Let's give a clap offering Amen. to honor him also. As pastors, as preachers, and as como estamos celebrando también um, el mes 
de agradecimiento a, a los pastores, a, a, a los hombres de Dios y las mujeres de Dios. We're honoring um, God's mighty men and God's mighty women in this month of appreciation. Later on, you'll have the opportunity to bring your best seat to honor the prophet for this month. Uh, más tarde vas a tener la oportunidad de dar esa ofrenda especial to give that uh, the special offering in the mighty name of Jesus. How many say amen? amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's start. Vamos a comenzar. The gift of prophecy. I'm going to speak on three um, topics today. We'll hablar de tres temas. But the first topic is the gift of prophecy. El don de profecía. You know, I want to just share you just how God reveals to me something through numbers. Um, Dios me revela muchas cosas a través de números. ¿Quién quiere saber? Who wants to know? Amen. Is it raise your hand? Check this out. It's going to blow your mind. And this is a prophetic word at the same time for all of you. Es una palabra profética para todos ustedes hoy en este día. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. You know, today is 10, 29, 22. Am I correct? Yes. So if you add these two numbers, si tú sumas el 10 y el 29, that adds to 22. And this is 22. <laughs> oh, 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 the only one person got it. Hallelujah. What, I, what God is trying to tell you, that you're in the right place at the right time today. 10, 29, 22. Que estás en el lugar correcto. 10, 29, 22. How many say amen? This could have been 21. Esto podría ser 21. How many see that? But it is, if you add 10 and, let me see here. 39. No, it's 39. I, I, I saw, I saw, oh, okay. Uh, now, now I know about how, how this was in the spare room. This if you add this, it's 11, the two numbers, yeah. you know, not 29. If you add the 10, 10, and then 9 plus 2 is 11, right? It adds to 21. Yeah. 21. I'm getting here mixed up. 9 and 9. That's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, but there's the same. Yeah, there's 11 today. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the way the Lord showed me. Okay, so this right here is 44. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. This right here. So it was 40 years that the people of Israel wandered in the wilderness and they came out of bondage, out of slavery, right? Mm -hmm. Today, you will come out of any kind of bondage, of any kind of confusion, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How many say amen? amen. You can give a clap offering to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And today is the 21st day. Today is when your, the, your prayer is going to be answered today. Thus says the Lord. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen? Oh, you don't sound like you really. Amen. 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 I said. The Lord told me to tell you that today is a day just like the prophet Daniel was waiting 21 days fasting and praying, but there was warfare in the heavenly realms, and the and this answer came by the angel of the Lord on the 21st day. Today you've been going through hell, but the Aramaya and Avakanda, but thus says the Lord, today is a day that your prayers are gonna be answered. In Jesus' name. Give Amen. a cup offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother's deep right here. Hallelujah. And tomorrow is the 22nd day or the 22nd. You know, this is what the Lord is saying. You're going to receive the double portion. And if you add this, it's an eight. The Lord said by tomorrow, everything will be new in your life. And the old is gone. The new has arrived in Jesus' name. Amen. Give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. I, just, I don't know why I want to say this, but, you know, Halloween is not, it's not the day of the devil. It's not, it's not Satan's day. It's the Lord's day. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to put some clarity on that because I don't want you to think, I don't want to think you. I'm not saying that Halloween is a God. I'm saying that the day, the 31st, is a God because every day is a day of the Lord. Amen. Todos los días es el día del Señor. Amen. So it's like you choose who you're going to serve on the 31st. Are you going to serve the devil or are you going to serve God? Amen. I say, me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Thank like God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give us God. Amen. Amen. To the Lord. You know, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 11 and 12, I want to put this as a foundation before I go forward. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. Ephesians capítulo 4, versículos 11 y 12. Cuando lo tengan, digan un fuerte amén. You have it. Amen. Amen. Or I got it. I got it. Hallelujah. Look what the Bible says. Mira lo que la Biblia dice. In 4, 11 and 12. The gifts he gave. You know, God gave some gifts. He gave were that some will be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers. Algunas personas, yo les dio diferentes um, dones, diferentes oficios. A unos apóstoles, profetas, um, evangelistas, maestros y pastores. Amen. So no todos son um, apóstoles, no todos son profetas. Not everyone is an apostle. Not everybody is um, a prophet. How many say amen? Amen. You say just some of them. Just some, some of them. And it goes on to verse 12. To equip the saints for the work of the ministry. Esta razón Dios les dio la capacidad de ser estos um, oficios. God gave them these offices for what? For the work of the kingdom. Para el trabajo del ministerio. In other words, they're not just there to have a title. No están allí para tener un título. Están allí porque van a... A edificar la obra de Dios. How many say amen? amen. They're there to edify um, and equip the work of, uh, of God, the work of the ministry. We're building up the body of Christ para uh, hacer crecer el cuerpo de Cristo. I'm here as a prophet of God to help you that through the Holy Spirit that God will equip you that God will build you up and transform you so that you can do the signs of wonders and the miracles. How many say amen? amen? Amen. That's why God gave some these gifts, these offices. How many say amen? amen. amen. It's called the fivefold ministry. Se llama los cinco ministerios. How many say amen? amen? Amen. And the number five means favor. Número cinco significa el favor de Dios. So God gave some that favor. How many say amen? amen. amen. A Dios les dio unos es, ese favor. How many say amen? Amen. amen. You, know, you know that it's not wrong if you say, tell God, God, I'm your favorite. No es malo que tú le digas a Dios que, que um, tú eres su favorito. You know, I've asked um, parents, um, who's your favorite child? Le he preguntado a, a, a padres de familia, ¿Quién es tu favorito? Oh, no, I don't have no favorites there. I love them all the same. No, no, no. Don't lie. Tell me who's your favorite one. Because there's always a favorite. Even before the foundations of the world, there was a favorite. <laughs> How many say amen? Amen. You know, um, Joseph was the favorite and when you're a favorite they're gonna try to kill you mm. your own brothers your own sisters in the bloodline but also in the spirit family in an ambiente espiritual not not everybody wants you to succeed mm. not everybody wants you to be used by god mm -hmm. 
by their fruits, you will know them. Those people that were around you, once God starts elevating you, and once you start talking crazy stuff, like we're talking today, people are going to say, oh, you know what? I'll see you later. You're too much for me. Me voy a apartar porque eres demasiado. I don't know what happened to you. You're talking things that I never heard. You're, 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 you're hearing things that I never heard and talking things that I never heard. How many say amen? amen. amen. <laughs> say those that are guided by the spirit. Those that are guided by the spirit. spirit. It's because they live in the spirit. It's because they live in the spirit. But those that live in the natural, aquellos que vienen natural no comprenden las cosas espirituales. Those that live in the in the in the natural, they do not understand the spiritual things. Shani, can you help me um, to interpret? Y'all help me, me va ayudar to the flow of the spirit. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hallelujah. I'm going to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, number one, what is the gift of prophecy? ¿Qué es el don de profecía? The gift of prophecy is one of the nine manifestations of the Holy Spirit. El don de profecía. The gift of prophecy is one of the nine manifestations of the Holy Spirit. And you can see it in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 4 through 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 through 12. When you have it, say amen. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 4 through 12. Now, there are varieties of gifts. But the, it's the same spirit. And there are varieties of services. But the, it's the same Lord. And there are various varieties of activities. But it is the same God who activates, it activates, activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. Say this is because it's been given to me because it's something good. They give it to me because it's something good. To one is given through the spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, and to another what? Prophecy. Prophecy. To another the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same spirit who allots to each one individually, just as the spirit chooses. Amen. Amen. I'm going to put it this way. God has given us all the gifts. Yo nos ha dado todos los dones. But you have to activate it. You have to start working it out. You, you'll make mistakes along the way, but then you'll perfect it. How many say amen? Amen. Dios te ha dado todos los dones, pero tú tienes que ser activados. And you know who activates it? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit uses a prophet of God amen. para que sea activado los dones adentro de ti. How many say amen? amen? You're here, chosen by God on a divine appointment, so those gifts can be activated and you can start using them in Jesus' name. Amen. How many say amen? amen? Give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Great. My God is good. He's in the house today. He's in the house today. There's three things that the gift of prophecy does. Number one, it brings edification. Trae edificación. El don de profecía. Number two, it exhorts to bring the person closer to God. You know, in other words, there's, there's a lot of people that are scared to tell people, hey, you're, you're doing it the wrong way. Get your act together and, and come in alignment so you can get closer to God. And there's people, even pastors, that they see the error. They see what the enemy is doing in the person, but they, they, they don't 
um, dare tell them anything. You know why? Because they're afraid that they'll go. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's religion. That's tradition. You know, a person that really knows the truth and loves you will tell you the truth. Amen. Amen. It, it, it's a parent, like a parent. You know, he has sons and kids. You know, it, uh, you know, China, you have kids. Um, you're going to tell them, hey, don't go outside. Don't cross the street. No, no, la cecira tu no no cruce la calle porque va a venir el carro y te va a matar. Don't cross the street because there's danger and and, and the automobile is gonna kill you, right? That's the truth. But others, they will just let you die. It's it, it, it's sad, but those are the false people. Those are the false apostles, the false prophets, mm -hmm. the false pastors. How many say amen? Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says. And, and this is biblically, and you've heard Papa Lo say that, say that. You know, ever since I started the ministry, God would, told me, Dios me dijo a mí, tú nunca vas a trabajar en, en un trabajo secular. You know, for those that you do not know, you know, I, li I, I, I lived the life of the rich and famous. I was a very famous promoter and radio announcer for the entertainment world. I promoted every singer and band that you can think of. And I was a representative of many bands and, and singers. I even helped them record. I had royalties. Tenía uh, muchos beneficios de dinero. You know, un, uh, uh, Ramon Ayala de los Bravos del Norte era mi padrino. Nosotros compusimos la canción Tragos Amargos. You know, and I could be receiving a lot of money. But when I was there at my dead side bed, you know, let me tell you, I knew I was going to go to hell. Yo sabía que iba a ir al infierno. And I made a covenant with God. Because I knew that God said, hey, I'm drawing the line, buddy. I gave you a lot of chances. The devil is coming for your soul right now. So you decide. <laughs> Let me tell you, Lord, I was all woke up with everything, with my sins. And, and in my mind, because I couldn't talk, but it's in my mind. In my mind. Just like that woman with issue of blessing, she thought to herself and she said to herself, she spoke to herself, she said in her mind, if I only can touch a garment, I'll be healed. Amen. Say, Lord, if I only can touch that, you know, your garment, if I only can find mercy, Lord, I repent of everything. But today I made a covenant with you that I'll serve you and I'll destroy the words of the devil. I'll do anything that you want me to do, Lord, just like I did before. Because I said, just like I did before, because I was a pastor and I, for five years, and I had a 300 member congregation and I, Left the ministry because my pastor fell. That was not a, 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 an excuse. But since I didn't have a mentor in my life, say mentor. 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 I didn't have somebody, you know, to help me to say, you know what, just do it like this. God's with you, blah, blah, blah. Uh -uh. In, instead, they were uh, condemning me. So that made me even get more away from these people, more away from the church. And the rest was history. I'm here because I made a covenant with God. Yeah. What you need to do is make a covenant with God and it will change your life. How many say amen? amen. amen. I'm going to say that because nobody said nothing at first. Amen. You need to make a covenant with God. Amen. And if you have not made a covenant, make a covenant with God. Amen. Say, Lord, Lord, I do not know Lord, no. everything. But I'm here to learn and to do your perfect will. Not man's will, but your will. And this is what I was trying to say, you know, that when God called me, um, I, I left all that for Jesus Christ. Yo dejé todo eso para servir a Dios. And let me tell you, it was a challenge, like a whole year. I mean, I'm telling you, people tell me, oh, you're a pastor. You don't even have a car. Eres un pastor, you know, tienes un carro. Mm -hmm. You're a pastor, you don't have no money. You, you have a pastor, you don't even have a job. But see, sometimes you cannot tell everything to everybody. Mm -hmm. Only you and God knows what, what you're doing and what's going on. I mean, say amen. amen. You cannot share your dreams to anybody because there's dream killers. Right. <laughs> they will assassinate your dreams just like they tried to do it through Joseph. Mm -hmm. You know, he shared the dream and they tried to kill this dream. I mean, say amen. amen. So, you know what? A pastor, he's supposed to receive, you know, a salary from the ministry. That's biblical. But God told me, 
So you'll never receive a salary. And if God knows why, and I'll tell you why. Because sometimes, you know, because see, I was caught up in money and fame. Everything was money for me. Everything was fame. But it came to that point that I could not go higher, you know. So then I just got into more drugs and more alcohol. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I'm the only yeah. one. Yeah. I'm the only sinner. <laughs> Hallelujah. But see, God said, you will live by faith and not by sight. I was saying, for faith, not for this time. Lord, I'm going to survive then. I'm going to do this. I will meet all your needs. I will show you that sometimes you'll do, you'll be eating good and sometimes you will not be eating nothing. Te voy a enseñar que a veces vas a estar comiendo unos steaks, pero otros días no vas a estar comiendo nada. Say, that's fasting, I think. I think that's probably fasting. You know? How many say amen? amen? So, I live by faith. I've been more than 25 years serving God and never received. I just received love offerings. Sometimes they have even burdened me. You know, pastors. I go and preach my heart out and you know, people sow a lot of money and they don't give me nothing. But you know what? I go and somebody comes with an envelope. The Lord told me to give you this. God will never leave you abandoned or, or uh, embarrassed in front of your enemies. How many say amen? amen? Say, my God is good. My God is good. My God is great. My God is great. I say that because. Papa Lo also is in the same thing. He doesn't receive a salary from Revelation Church. He just receives um, the blessings from the offerings that people give him. Let me tell you that he is good ground. How many say amen? Amen. You know, and, 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 and when you sow under a good ground of a prophet, you'll always receive a prophet's reward. How many say amen? amen. You can give a cup offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. The third thing that the gift of prophecy does is it brings consolation. It brings peace. It brings comfort. How many say amen? Amen. You know, the, the gift of prophecy, when you give a prophetic word, always remember, it does never expose the sins of the people in public. How many say amen? Amen. That's how you will know a true um, prophet or a false prophet when it, they expose the sins in front of the people. You know, there's been people that uh, God is making me, he, he, he lets me see everything. Like, I'll, I'll give an example. I'm in the altar ministry under the anointing and I see this man and I'm seeing that he's going out with a pastor's wife. Just tell me how, how I felt when I saw that. Sometimes, believe me, as a prophet of God, you, you may say, oh, I want to be a prophet. No, believe me, you don't. Because you know what? When you see the demonic um, atmosphere or, and, and, and you see all these things, you know, it's not a good thing. How many say amen? amen. But God entrusts you because he knows that you're not going to spill the beans and mess up and tell everybody about that. But see, God will give you wisdom. What do you do in a situation like that? I'm glad that you asked. I'll tell you. I'm going to say amen. amen. You know, when I'm seeing that, I said, you know, more or less, you know, uh, the Spirit of God was speaking through me saying this. Man of God, first I introduce him to yeah. man of God. As a man of God. I give him his identity. I may say amen. amen. You just don't tell a pastor brother. You just don't tell a prophet brother. That's a disrespectful. Uh, uh, you're a dishonoring uh, uh, a man of God. How many say amen? amen. Like Papa said, you call me brother. Well, you're just going to receive a brother blessing. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's another teaching. How many say amen? amen. amen. Hallelujah. Where was I? Because I went. Man of God. Yeah, bring me back. Yeah, the man of God was saying. Oh, oh yeah. I told him. Man of God. So I give him his identity. I tell him, hey, you're not a sinner. You're not that what I'm, the Lord's making me see. You're a man of God. Man of God. The Lord says that he loves you so much that he forgets your past. 
when you repent of anything. But the Lord says, he doesn't look at your past, he looks at your future. Sometimes, hey, you know, see, I'm speaking to him, the Holy, the Spirit of God, the, gift of, the Spirit of prophecy is speaking through me to him, to only he knows what I'm talking about, right? And then at the end, I go counsel him. Hey, man of God, oh, that's what you're doing. So Get out you. before it's too late. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Yep. But just to him, yeah. not with a mic, just look the mic away, just very softly in his ear. The decision will be in life or death. Amen. The blessing or the curse. How many say amen? amen. amen. How many see that? Amen. You can give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you prophesy under the gift of prophecy, those three things have to happen. You know. You never condemn, you never judge, you never expose the sins uh, of the person or people in front, in public. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And you know what all this does? You know what all this does? It brings conviction in the person. Trae convicción a la persona. You know? Amen. If you tell the person you know, straight out, hey, you know what, you're going to go to, you know, you're, you're going to go to hell, you're, you're doing this and that, you know, that's what religion does, that's what tradition does, that's what the, the natural man does, because they want to control you, they want to put you in bondage, but Jesus came to set the captives free, amen. <laughs> how many say amen? amen, he said, if you fall today, get up, what? And start going forward, levántate si caes, pero ve hacia adelante, in the name of Jesus. How many say amen? amen? Hallelujah. So let the Holy Spirit convict people. You do not try to convict people. Because people will try to put a guilt trip on you. And that's not of God. La gente a veces te quiere poner en un viaje de culpabilidad. Y eso no es de Dios. Dios es perdón y amor. God is love and, and, and forgiveness. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. How many are receiving something from the Lord today? Amen. 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 Uh, um, I'm going to tell you what the gift of prophecy is. Five things. Five things for the for the fivefold ministries. Cinco cosas para cinco ministerios. Profético. Number one. Number one. It's a gift that God has given to you by grace and through faith. It is not something that you can sell it. If you see people trying to sell the gift of prophecy, you better stay away from them because that is not of God. God gave you this gift. Dios te dio este don. And it's through faith and through grace. And I'm going to give you the scriptures and you can study them later. Te voy a dar las escrituras y tú lo puedes estudiar más tarde por el tiempo because of sake of time. How many say amen? Amen. Romans 12, 6, Romanos 12, 6, y Galatas 3, 5, and Galatians 3, 5. Amen. Can you repeat them again? Romans 12, 6, and Galatians 3, 5. See, this gift, check this out. It was given by the grace of God and through faith. Through grace and through faith. How many say amen? amen. amen. It's the same way as salvation. How many say amen? amen? Salvation has been given to us through grace and through faith. It's been given to us freely. How many say amen? amen? It's a gift. It's un don. Hallelujah. You know, I don't know why, but God's telling me to tell you that if somebody tries to sell your family salvation, si alguien quiere vender la salvación, eso no es de Dios. That is not of God. Because Dios te ha dado la salvación un regalo. He has given it to you as a free gift. Te lo ha dado como un regalo gratis. I'm going to say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number, that was number two. 
you know, it's the same principle as salvation. Number three, number three. Um, the gift of prophecy, this is very important to know. It is not based on your, your, your spiritual maturity, how much you know, how much you've been in God. No está basado en qué tanto sabes y qué tantos años tienes en la iglesia. No. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say it's, it, it, it's, it's a gift. It's a, it's gift. a free gift. And you can see it in Acts 10.45. Lo puedes ver en Hechos 10.45. Number four. It's not even based on a correct doctrine. No está ni basado en una doctrina correcta. Acts 19, 1 through 6, Hechos 19, 1 al 6, especially verses 2 and 3, especialmente los versículos 2 y 3. Acts 19, 1 through 6. And number 5, the gift of prophecy, you cannot buy it and you cannot earn it. En donde profecía no lo puedes comprar y no te lo puedes ganar. Es un regalo que Dios te lo da. It's a free gift that God gives it to you. How many say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord, for the free gift. Thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, for the free gift. gift. And you can see it in Acts 8, 18. Lo puedes ver en, en Hechos 8, 18. <coughs> Hallelujah. Wow. The Lord just told me that today and tomorrow you're about to give birth to new things. Amen. I receive. I just heard his voice. He said, Tell my people that today and tomorrow they're about to give birth to new things. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say the old is gone, the new has come. The old is gone, the new has come. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two. No, topic number two. The difference between a prophet and a person that has the gift of prophecy. What is the difference between a prophet and the person that has the gift of prophecy? ¿Qué es la diferencia de un profeta y de una persona que tiene el don de profecía? The... The office of the prophet is way higher than the gift of prophecy because the, the office of a prophet is a calling. Es un llamado por Dios. It's some, somebody that, that, um, that God chose before they were born. That he was chosen as a prophet. He was born as a prophet. He was not made a prophet. No fue hecho un profeta. He was born as a prophet. How many say amen? Amen. Say, my God is amen. great. My God is good. My, my God, God is great. great. My, my God, God is good. good. He's in the house today. He's in the house today. And, and um, the office of the prophet has a lot of responsibilities. Way more than somebody that just is operating through the gift of prophecy. Un, el oficio de un profeta tiene muchos más um, responsabilidades que ni a una persona que nomás está operando por el don de profecía. How many say amen? Amen. So you better watch out because there's a lot of responsibilities and God will hold you accountable. How many say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So remember, there, the, the prophet is an office. And, and a person that is just operating through prophecy is the gift of prophecy. So it does, you know what's wrong in a lot of churches that somebody just starts prophesying and they already call them a prophet. The people call you a prophet. 
You know, people call me apostle. Gente me llama apostol. And, 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 and I never say anything because, you know, I say, yeah, I, I function. Um, I function as an apostle. Sometimes funciono como un apostle, but I'm not an apostle. My office is a prophet. Mi oficio es un profeta. You got to know who you are. I mean, say, man. Amen. You got to know who, who God called you to be amen. and who God says who you are, not what people say. Because people will try to elevate you. La gente te quiere elevar, and you got to watch out with all that mess. I mean, say, man. So if somebody just prophesies, is he a prophet or a prophetess? No, no, he's, he's just operating through the gift of prophecy. Amen. 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 So there's a difference between that and a prophet. So what's the difference? The prophet is in the office of a prophet. Yes. Yeah, he's in the office. That's a, his office. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Hello. I may have received something from the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Number three, what is the purpose of the gift of prophecy? Que es la, el propósito de donde profecía? Um, to bring in, in the house for you guys. It was good. The gift of prophecy is the most important gift in the church. I did. I told it him. is very inspirational. <laughs> And it edifies you for you to know where you're going. El don de profecía te hace saber dónde Dios te está llevando y qué es lo que Dios va a hacer en tu vida. Y qué es lo que tú necesitas que sea con Dios. Por Dios. Amen. 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 Okay. Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians 14, 1 through 3. Vamos a primero Corintios 14, 1 al 3. First Corinthians 14, 1 to 3. Number one. Verse one. Pursue love and strive for the spiritual gifts. God saying, first, always, love has to be the foundation. El amor de Dios tiene que ser la fundación. How many say amen? Amen. Y dice, desea los dones espirituales. Strive for the spiritual gifts. <clears throat> but of all this, the most important one is the gift of prophecy. Of prophecy. I know my... How many say amen? amen. amen. Several open-heart surgeries. And you know and why? It's the most important gift because it brings life to dead situations. Amen. El don de profecía trae Vida a situaciones muertas. The gift of prophecy resurrects all impossible situations. El don de profecía resucita todas cosas um, imposibles. God says in his word, what's impossible for man, what's impossible for you, all things is possible for me. When God says all things is possible, it means all things are possible. Si Dios dice que todas las cosas son posibles, es porque todas las cosas son posibles. God can heal um, AIDS, cancer. He can heal anybody from coronavirus. But you have to prophesy to the situations. Amen. <laughs> you know what happened when the coronavirus hit? Everybody panicked. You know? They said, don't congregate in the churches because you're going to die. Mm -hmm. No te congregues en las iglesias porque te vas a morir. You know, these people around here, they barely had moved during there. And they told me, Pastor, the Lord sent me because we've been praying um, um, to be close to a pastor and close to a church. And I know we didn't, we want, we thought it was going to be a, a big building, but it's in a house and this is where we, we got it. And, 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 and I said, well, you know what? We're still going to have service. We're not going to shut. And family members told them, don't go there. No vayas allí. Porque te vas a morir. And then family members told them, if you go there, you're not going to come and visit our grandkids, our family, because you you're going to have a virus. But let me tell you, 
These people, hmm, some of them died. Unos se murieron. But yeah, they didn't come to church. No venían a la iglesia, but they're going to die. But they were in Walmart. Estaban in Walmart. They were in the beaches. Estaban en las playas. Estaban en muchos lugares. They were in a lot of places. <laughs> this is the place. And you know what? You guys that, that are here, um, we never wore a mask. We never wore a mask. Nunca usamos una máscara. You know. We only um, use the thermometer thing because they came and somebody put me the finger that we were not doing that. So I, the Lord told me, they're going to get to you. Go buy the thermometer, put it there, and put the hand sanitizer, and put the gloves so they can see it. And, um, but you know what? Every day, every service, I would have the people stand up, los se levantaban, and I would have them prophesy. We're going to do a prophetic declaration. The MC Hammer came, man of God. You can touch this. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I say, prophesy, declare with me this. A thousand will fall on one side, 10,000 on the other, but it, the coronavirus, will not come near me. Or the ministry or my family in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, you should have shot it. Okay, okay. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. See, whatever you say, that's what you're going to receive. Amen. Whatever you think and feel, that's what you're going to receive. That's why it's very important that you speak the words of life to people. Oh, if the doctor. People, uh, the, the phony baloney people say, oh, the doctor told you, brother, you're going to die. You're going to die. God went through those situations. I had a heart attack, and I, I was there, you know. Um, tenía un ataque corazón, y me pegó el embolio. I had a stroke, and I'm there, and I'm crying. I'm hooked up to all my chains. I said, Lord, why do you permit the devil to have me like this? ¿Por qué permites al diablo que me ataque? I've seen um, you used me to raise the dead. He mirado tu mano que yo levanto a los muertos. I raise up paralyzed um, people from the wheelchairs, and now I'm paralyzed. Estoy paralizado. ¿Qué hago, señor? And he didn't say nothing. No me dijo nada. But what I did, I called these prophets and these apostles to come and speak a word of life into me. And when they came and they were reading the report, they went and they said, Prophet Ruben, if the doctors already told you you're going to die, that's it. And I'm over here thinking, man, God told me I'm going to do this in the year so-and-so. God told me that he's going to send me a bigger <laughs> deal yeah. this year, that I'm going to uh, open a house for him in a house, and I'm going to do this and that. You know, and God is not a God that lies, and God is not a God that repents. You know, so I told the nurse, is it nurse? Give me a piece of paper. Give me a piece of paper and a pen, please. <laughs> they brought, and I wrote, all scribbling, but I wrote, tell these men to get the heck out of me. Mm. I wanted to put hell, but I put heck. <laughs> I'm being transparent. Get, don't you get the heck out of me? And she looks at you like, are you sure? I go, <laughs> out. And they looked at it, they looked at me, and I just went like this. Check this out. I want to prove a point to you how powerful this is. As oh, and I'm telling the the the, the Lord, Lord, now what am I gonna do? I send this man. And he goes, Well, you only have me, I'm here. You know, call on to me and I'll show you great things, Ruben. And what are you gonna do? What am I gonna do, Lord? Now you're gonna. Like you prophesied to everybody, now you're going to prophesy to yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but this was the most powerful thing. They were walking out the door. As soon as the door, they walked out the door, all the machines went crazy. And I heard the Spirit of God, now say it. I prophesied.
is right to myself that everything is in alignment according to the word of God in Jesus' name. Boom. Mm. Wow. In seconds. Mm. Oh, you gotta do a clap of it. Wow. Wow. I will permit you to go through situations that you're thinking it's the devil when it's God. Mostly all the cases, it's not the devil, mostly it's God trying to show and for you to learn something. How many say amen? Amen. I always say this, don't go to the phone calling people, go to the throne. No vayas al celular llamándole a gente, because many times have you found out that they don't even answer you? Is God closing the line because he's saying, I'm here, Shani. I'm here. All you need is me. How many say amen? Amen. <laughs> how, many, how many receive that? How many see amen. that? Amen. Yeah. So whenever you speak, you prophesy, profetiza a los huesos secos. You speak to the dry bones. Dry bones. Get up and live. Can these dry bones live? Can this situation live? How many say amen? amen? God is, after today, within 20, I prom prophesy, I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus amen. that after today, within 24 hours, I say to the Lord, your situation is going to change in amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Profetizo que dentro 24 horas, tu situación va a cambiar en el nombre de Jesús. Denle fuerte el palma a rey. Aleluya. Amen. Amen. Hey, with me, my God is great. My, my God, God is great. great. My God is good. My, my God, God is good. good. He's in the house today. He's, He's in, in the, the house, house today. today. How many know that God is here? Amen. Amen. How many know that, that God lives here? You know, Amen. this this um presence um always has been here, but not like this. This presence has been thicker every time. Papa Lou has been here like four or five times. Se las tal cuatro o cinco um veces, and um. Uh, Hallelujah. When he left, the angels were all over this place. Mm. Am I right? Am I lying? If I do this, you know, say it out loud. You're right. You know, am I lying or not lying? Nine. You know, they were all over here. And there's a citation of angels. You know what? When you walk in here, even when you're out there, you can feel this presence. Right here, I do not let no one um, smoke. Drink. I'm always trying to keep the atmosphere clean. One time, uh, a handyman came, and, and and I saw him that he was smoking a cigarette. He was in the road, and I said, "Hey, you cannot smoke here. Why? Because this is a property of God. See, you gotta come to the point that you gotta stand firm who you are and what you have is of God. Don't let nobody um smoke, drink in your car. Don't let nobody change the the Christian station to the worldly station, you have the keys of the kingdom and God is giving you the house, Hallelujah. the cars, and the money. You stand to stand firm in Jesus' name and say, enough is enough. Give a clap of to the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Say with me, my God is great. My, my God, God is great. great. My God is good. My, my God, God is good. good. He is here. He is here. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm going to say this, you know. When Papa Louis came here those times, see, you cannot take it lightly. I had to keep putting wood on the fire because if I saw he came, it's like that, that thing is going to go. That's why you got to keep your fire burning. Amen. You got to keep the atmosphere burning. How many say amen? amen. Hallelujah. You know, my son's here. You know, they come all the way from Los Angeles. And when they're, one time I told them, don't come. I did it on purpose. I said, don't come this weekend so you guys can say gas. And blah, blah. But I wanted to prove to them that right here, you need was right here. And they say, Papa, can we just go? We feel different. I say, you know what? Now the atmosphere here, you take it to your house. And what you do here, you do it over there. Amen. I mean, know what I'm talking about. Amen. Because there's people in the church, I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. And over there, your, your grandmother comes or an uncle comes and he, he, he disrespects you and says something. You can't even talk to the demon and cast it out in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So we're in um, verse 1 of verse 2 and verse 3 of First Corinthians 14. For those who speak in a tongue do not speak to other people but to God. See, when you're speaking in tongues, you're speaking to God, not to the people. So there are people saying, oh, look at them. Hey, I ain't, I ain't speaking to you. I'm speaking to the Lord. Mind your own business. I mean, say amen. 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 Do not speak to other people but to God, for nobody understands him. Since they are speaking mysteries in the spirit. There's mysteries in the spirit realm. On the other hand, those who prophesy speak to other people by their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. See, so when you speak in, 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 in with a gift of prophecy, you now you're speaking to men because now your your uh, word's gonna edify them, counsel them, and build them up. And it's going to take him somewhere. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. That was 1 Corinthians 14. What? 1 Corinthians 14 verses 1 through 3. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to. The second topic I'm going to speak on. Is about the spirit of a divination. Spirit of divination. Mm. It's going to get deeper. <laughs> the spirit of divination. Espíritu de adivinación. The spirit of a divination is a contrary to the gift of prophecy. Right. El espíritu de adivinación es lo contrario al, al, al espíritu de profecía. El espíritu de adivinación es el diablo. The spirit of a divination is from the devil, and the spirit of prophecy is from God. How many say amen? Amen. amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, there's a lot of, of the spirit of a divination operating in many churches. Mm -hmm. And people do not know because, like the man of God said, because no discernment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what they're doing. They're destroying the prophetic. Vienen para destruir lo profético. They come to destroy the fightful ministries so mm -hmm. that it cannot grow. Mm -hmm. You do not know the hell that I went through, you know, just to make this or make the make this happen for the Lord. <laughs> yeah, from day one that I moved here, because right here they used to, in the basement, they had an altar of the Santa Muerte, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. of the shrine of the Holy Death. Mm -hmm. They gave me a welcome party. <laughs> they put a big log tree there with a, with the blood of all that was full of crows that you see in the front yard. Crows there and all crows in the in the trees and crows all over in the roof. Let me tell. <laughs> I did get a little bit scared, you know. I mean, because I knew that this was very deep. It's like the Lord saying. Welcome into the deep because the spirit of a divination operates in the city of Bakersfield. Mm, yes. That's the stronghold. There's a lot mm. of witches, a lot of curanderos, a lot of brujos all over. And I know where they live. Wow. Thanks to this young man that he was used by the devil to try to kill me by doing witchcraft. And he said, he came one day, this young man said, do you know that? No, first he said, uh, he looked at the banner. Are you a prophet? Go, yeah. And then he goes, you know that we're trying to kill you? <laughs> and I go, trying to kill me? And then, and then he goes, yeah, on the back we're in the alley in the garage, we have a satanic temple. Jeez. And we get together at midnight to three. You've been to the hospital a lot, right? And I go, yeah, yeah. We've been doing a lot of things to you. Jeez. But you cannot die. That's, hang that's where I just sit, right, Lord? I just yes. thank you because he said, you know what? The mighty hand of God is over you. Mm -hmm. We cannot kill you. Praise God. Wow. And I say, you know what? From this day forward, I reverse every curse mm -hmm. that you've been sending mm -hmm. to me. And I send it back to that 10 point to everybody there. Oh, don't do that because 
dumb. Don't, 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 do, don't do that. Don't do that. Because um, our satanic priest is, and his name is Abel Shema Shema Ben. And he goes, he's powerful. Oh, yeah, come over here and, and say, I'll tell him to uh, invite, and you'll see the power of God. Man, it was very intimidating because he had the three sixes, you know, tattooed, and he had the, you know, everything of Satan, you know. And I was looking at him, and he was coming with a, with a, a cane, and then the cane, it had a, it, it was a serpent, and through the mouth, you know, um, the the tongue of the of the serpent with a skeleton. It looked very evil. Mm. And he was coming, you know, you could see the challenge. I, it was like, you know, back in the cowboy days when they used to get with <laughs> 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 They're gonna have a draw, <laughs> you know. And I'm right here by the door and he's coming across the street. And he coming closer and closer. And then I, and I got closer and I said, hey, you cannot step on the sidewalk. And, 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 and he said, this is public place. It's not yours. No, this is of the Lord and you cannot step on the Lord. If you step on there, you're gonna melt, you know? And, and, and um, Hallelujah. And, and he, I saw in his eyes that he got kind of fierce. So that's when the spirit of <laughs> prophecy arose even more to another level. And I was just talking to him, and, 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 and then he goes, you better leave my youngsters alone. You better not tell them about the Lord, because something's going to happen to you. I say, I prophesy to you. Within tomorrow, you're going to have a heart attack at 3 o'clock. You know, it just came out of me, you know. And he started, like, trembling, and then he started walking, you know, like this back. At three o'clock, I see all the noise uh, full of um, of um, ambulance and fire trucks and police uh, cars. And I walked over there. What happened? Oh, April just had a heart attack. He's dying. You had to do my open heart surgery. That weekend, I was having a prophet coming from Florida, you know, and I told, I told everybody, go and, and, and put flyers in all this area. Don't miss no one, but especially go put it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Say that's wisdom. That's wisdom. wisdom. Say that's the prophetic. That's the prophetic. Not the pathetic. <laughs> so then um I uh so if the, the 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 thing was um that was uh like on uh Tuesday or Wednesday, and and uh, the 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 conference, prophetic conference, was Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday, he calls me, you know, with a block number. And I and I got him and said, "Hello, who's this? Oh, this is Abel. How did you get my number?" Oh, I got it right there at the table. I went and you had the calendar and all the information is there. So I come calling you. Why are you coming from block number? Oh, I just wanted to make sure that it was in that and that if something would happen, he goes, I'm dying. I'm dying. And they did open heart surgery. Please pray for me. Can I go to the meeting? And I was like, ah, no, now you're going to see the power of God. So he was sitting over there where Abel was the, the, the sitting. For his <laughs> Abel, and Abel was sitting right there next to uh -huh. oh, <laughs> and, and, and this little small prophet from Florida, he goes, you, if you would have came today, today you would have died. And he was crying. Because, you know, a couple of days ago, the enemy wanted to take you out. But through this prophet of this house, you are alive. And today is a day of salvation. Do you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ? He just got up. He came right here. He renounced everything from Satan. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. And he gave his life to the Lord. That's what the prophetic does. That's what the spirit of prophecy does. And that's and the spirit of, of divination does the contrary. I'm gonna show you something. Let's go to Acts 16, 16. 
Vamos a Hechos 16, 16. And we'll read it all through 19. Acts 16, verses 16 through 19. Acts 16, verses 16 through 19. When you have it, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a bad spirit of divination and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune telling. Isn't it? Don't you find it? Kind of a coincidence, but it's not a coincidence that every time you're going to go to get into prayer, you want to pray, or you're going to go to church, or you're going to go to a meeting, something always happens. Yeah. Algo siempre sucede. It's the spirit of divination that doesn't want you to have your breakthrough. It's an espíritu divinación que quiere para algo to stop you from getting your breakthrough. Que quiere para detener tu rompimiento. I may say amen. amen. Say my eyes are being opened today. My eyes are being opened today. Hallelujah. While deal of money by fortune telling, while the follow follow Paul. Well, she followed Paul and us. She would cry out, These men are slaves of the Most High God who proclaim to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days. But Paul, very much annoyed, he, he, he was pissed off. So he was pissed off. <laughs> Turned and said to the Spirit, See, he spoke to the Spirit, Habló el Espíritu, no le habló la persona. Nowadays, you got people in the churches speaking and taking it personally, speaking to the person instead, speaking to the spirit because of no discernment. How many say amen? Amen. amen. I order you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. In other translation, it came out immediately. Salió inmediatamente. See, what you have to the, the, the spirit of prophecy, the gift of prophecy, what it does, it opens your eyes. And, 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 and that's why you need the gift of discernment because the gift of discernment, it makes you see and identify what kind of spirit it is. Amen. Because this is not done in the flesh. It's done in the spirit realm. How many say amen? amen. amen. So whenever you see a situation, you speak to the spirit. You go to the root of the problem and you command that spirit to come out and it will come out. How many say amen? Amen. See, if you see what Prophet Lobi, you know, hallelujah, he just calls it out. Even you, you, you even can control the demons and they're subject uh, under your authority and, and they have to do whatever you tell them to do. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Remember um, Jesus, the the, the spirits beg Jesus. See, there's some spirit that they'll beg you, but you got to know who you are because the spirit, they know who you are. Because remember, there was a, a situation where they tried to do the same thing, you know. Um, so the, sons the, of the, the sons of Sceva, right? Am I right? Yes. And they say, they try to cast it out, try to imitate, because that's what the spirit of divination does. It imitates the things of, of God, they, and it twists it. Tries to imitate it, and it twists it. And, and, and the spirit spoke to him, hey, we know Jesus. We know Paul, but who in the heck are you? <laughs> Do you know that I have seen Many so-called, because in many churches, there's so many so-called spiritual people that they think that they're more than you. Well, and they, they even try to intimidate you by the words and they'll use scriptures. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, funny, bro. <laughs> Come on. You know, say by their fruits, you'll know them. By their fruits, you'll know, know them. Get me back, man. I go, where I was I? <laughs> um, the seven sons, he was on a... Oh, and check this out. And check this out. And those demons I saw and I heard with my own eyes. They said, why are you trying to cast me out when yesterday you were fornicating 
and you were seeing pornography. Mm. Jeez. Mm. Those demons exposed those people in the light. Mm. It's serious. Because the demons know who they are, who you are. I mean, say amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if you're kind of shaky and you're trying to, they're going to tell me, hey, why try to cast me out? If you have me inside of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. The, <laughs> How many, how many know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Check this out. I, I mentioned this. I was, I was um, ministering in, in this big church. And the move of God was very powerful. Me. And, and there was a demon possessed man. And they were rebuking him, right? They were rebuking him, rebuking him. They couldn't cast the spirits out. So the, the pastor of the church comes and somebody trips him from behind he falls and these people they go to the pastor and they rebuke him the team and so-called demons out of him and his leaders come say thank god for good leaders leaders that see and know and, and they came and said what are you guys doing we're rebuking the demon possessed he's full of demons this is our pastor. The demon possessed man is over here. <laughs> There's a lot of fooling and a lot of crazy people that don't even know what they're doing or saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't hang around with pathetic people. Hang around with the prophetic people. Amen. Oh, I, I said, Amen. don't Amen. hang around with phony, baloney people. Hang around with the real people Amen. that love God and serve God 100% in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Give God for me to the Lord. Hallelujah. My God is great. My God, God is great. My God is good. My God is good. He's in the house. He's, He's in, in the house. house. You know, in Matthew 24, 24, you don't have to go there. You can write it. It says in the last days, a lot of false prophets are going to rise. Mm -hmm. And you know what impacts me? That it says that it's going to even trick and deceive the chosen one. Mm -hmm. The elect, you know. You know, these are people that are in the fivefold ministries that are playing but not right with God. They're the pathetic, not the prophetic. How many say amen? Amen. amen. So you got to, I put it this like this. Not everything that shines is gold. Thank you, Lord. No todo lo que brilla es oro. Hallelujah. Not everybody says hallelujah from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Not everybody that, that preaches from the Lord. Not everybody that teaches from the Lord. By their fruits, you will know them. Amen. How many say amen? amen. Not, not everybody that says even I'm a Christian means that I'm a Christian. Right. Not everybody that says, you know what, I go to the certain church means that they're with God. How many say amen? amen. amen. I'm going to put it this. There's people that go visit God, but they don't live with God. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. <laughs> Somebody was saying today or yesterday, you know, those that, I think you said it today, man of God, those that abide in me. Can you say that again, how you said it? Those I abide in him, you yeah. will abide in me. See, God is saying, if you live with me, I live really in you. But you come and just visit me just to get something from my hand and you don't seek my face. That's why I, I, God gave me a, a teaching. Many people in the last days will just seek the hand of God, but will not seek his face early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's good. Amen. They'll just say, they have the spirit of Jimmy. I have the spirit of Jimmy. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> I, 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 I say it in Spanish. Um, tienen el espíritu de la salón, the spirit of hope, H-O-E. You know, there's a trouble, right? And then there's a hole. The hole has that long handle, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you get it, you bring it this way, but nothing goes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I just want it all for me. But I, can, I cannot sow into your life. I cannot invest in your life. I cannot bless you. It's all about me. When it's nothing for you. You got to watch out with people that have the spirit of sin. 
Mm -hmm. One time I said this, and there was a person that said to me, and he did repent because he was doing that. The Lord has this way of doing things. I may say that. Thank God nobody's saying Jimmy. <laughs> How many say amen? Amen. Yeah. Mm. See, the this spirit of divination, it comes to try to suck the life out of you and the church. It tries to suck the life out of the prophetic and convince people to go to the pathetic so that they will not have faith no more in God. So that they will not trust in God no more. So that they will just give up and surrender to the spirit of divination. And that's what is happening in a lot of churches. How many agree with me today? Amen. How many can say 100% truth? 100% truth. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 We're going to go to Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 13. Because. This applies, you know, to what we're teaching. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 through 13. In the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy, one of the first books, Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 through 13. When you have it, say amen. I'm going to start with verse 9. 9 through 13. When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you must not learn to initiate or imitate the abhorrent practices of those nations. See, God is taking you to a place. He's taking you to a land that he has given you. But he says, you know what? Don't practice the wrong things that they're practicing. How many say amen? amen? Amen. The Bible says, get the good and reject the bad. I'll put it this way. Get the good, be in the good, but don't hang around with the bad. Amen. Nobody said amen. 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 I guess someone, someone's going to hang around with the bad. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 No one shall be found among you who makes a son or a daughter pass through the fire or who practice what? Divination or is a soul slayer or an augur or a sorcerer or one who casts spells or one who consults ghosts or spirits or one who, who sells Oracles, who, no, who seeks oracles from the dead. God is saying, don't practice. Don't let your children go out there and practice the rituals of Halloween. I'm going to say amen. 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 Don't let anyone go and seek the dead. Do you know that uh, uh, the day, is it called the day of the dead? Dia de los muertos, what's it? Uh, yeah, what is it called in English? Souls Day. The day. All, all, Souls, all Saints Day? All Saints Day or All Souls Day? All, no, All Souls Day. All Souls Day. All Souls yeah. Day. And All Souls Day is called the Dia de los Muertos. I think it's the 3rd of November. I don't know. It's coming. Yeah, anyway, you see everything, in, in, you know. In the stores, they even sell a bread called el Pan de la Muerte. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, ¿sabía eso? Sí. Que venden un pan que le llaman el pan del... ¿Lo estoy diciendo correcto? Sí, pan del muerto. Pan del muerto. Pan del muerto. Mm. The bread of the dead. And you know, you know what they do? They go to the cemetery and they bring all these things that the person used to like, que la persona le gustaba, <coughs> and they believe because they speak to them and they come, that they come and visit them. And, and they're going to eat and drink with them. Que van a comer y beber con él. A lot of them it do happens. Muchos si pasan. But you know, it's not the person. It's a spirit imitating the voice of the person. 
es un espíritu que está uh, imitando, que es el espíritu de divinación. There's the spirit of divination. There's people in this, man, I'm telling you, you know, you see them, people paint their faces with the dead. They, they do all these things that say that that is not of God. No es de Dios. Oh, it's just for kicks. You're opening the spirit realm of the demonic. Estás abriendo todo lo, lo de, de moñato. It says don't go <coughs> to fortune tellers, to psychics. No vayas a, 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 a los que te leen la mano o la fortuna, los psíquicos. You know? They operate. See, I'm going to tell you, the spirit of divination is they get part truth. And then they fix it up and they put it in the line. That's what the spirit of divination is. It's part truth and then part line. The, the little girl in Acts 16, 16, she'll say, hey, these are the sons of men. That was true. But the rest was a lie. Let me know what I'm talking about. When you go to a psychic, they tell you, oh, um, things because they want to get some information out of you. And then they fix it, you know. For you, when they throw you the cards or they read you the hand, because they have a little bit of information. I'm going to tell you people that God, God has been showing me this for a lot of years. There's people in the churches, you know, in the churches, say in the churches, in the churches, in the churches, in the churches, in the churches that. That um, are being deceived by false prophets and false people. Mm -hmm. You know, they they um they message you in through messenger and they tell you, you know, I have a, a word from the Lord. And, and and they tell you everything. This is what they do. First they go, you know, they study you. And then they pop you, uh, pops up your name out of social media. I'm going to go check this person. Then they study, go, oh, this person did that. And, and, and so they get all of that information. And now they're so-called prophesying of the information that they got from you. And this is through messenger, okay? You better be very careful when they tell you, you know what? They have a, a word from the Lord. That's to me a secret. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's so sad that these people, a lot of people believe more the lies of the enemy or they believe a false prophet or a false person than a true man or a true woman of God. Amen. A lot of churches, I've seen with my own eyes, they will give to a false preacher instead of giving it to a true man or a true woman of God. Because you know what? These people... They like the preachers to tickle their ears. They want that preacher, that person, to tell them what they want to hear, mm. not what God says. Mm. Yeah. There's a big difference. You know, may you and you and you always say, God saves the Lord. And you better make sure that it's the Lord speaking. Because if not, all hell will come against you. It's not a good thing. If it's not the Lord saying, well, just say, you know, whatever I feel, I think, you know. But when you use that word, thus says the Lord, you enter into another dimension. Hallelujah. How many say amen? amen. How many receive something from the Lord? Amen. How many are glad that they came today? I'm amen. glad that they came today. Amen. See, the spirit of divination, what it really is, is really the spirit of witchcraft. Mm. How many say amen? Mm -hmm. It's um, disguised in another way. And it's like, also, it's like the spirit of Python, <coughs> that it comes and first it wraps around you slowly. It slowly wraps around you. In other words, it's letting you get by with drugs, with pornography, with this and that, slowly. And then he starts suffocating you. Because now you're deeper. He brought you deeper. 
He's sucking the life out of him, that spirit. And then he kills him. He goes for the attack in those three levels. And that's what it's the spirit of divination. You play with it and, and you let it. You can see people, oh, they're all messed up, you know, because it's slowly coming. You know, it's not the spirit of, of, of divination is way, the spirit of Python is way different than the spirit of Leviathan. Leviathan is like a crocodile, like an alligator. You know what it does? Check this out. If you see a crocodile, only the eyes are on top of the water. You know, what is he doing? He's observing you, checking you out. If you're praying, if you're fasting, if you're giving, if you're doing the work of the kingdom. And when you open the door, when you slip a little bit, he goes for the attack and he destroys you. That's the difference. One, the one, the spirit of Python, it just wraps around you slowly and lets you go. Then it suffocates you when you feel that you cannot go on. And then it kills you. But the spirit of Leviathan is the spirit of, of the waters. Wherever there's waters, lakes, oceans, the spirit of Leviathan operates in those cities. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. So, watch out. I told this to somebody. <laughs> and they and, and they got they blew it blew their mind. You know what the demons do? They when um, <laughs> when the day you're not praying, those little demons are in the corner, right? Oh, he didn't pray today, he didn't get up and pray today in the morning. Oh, he didn't read his word. Oh, he didn't read his devotion. Oh, he didn't go do what the Lord told him. And then he sends it to the boss, and the boss releases the attack in your life. Don't let it is the way the, the devil is under where? We under our feet. Yeah. See, if you just go to do this, look at just a little. That's all he needs. El diablo maldito poquitito que levante el pie y él se puede meter. Check this out. Do you know rat poison? El veneno de, de ratas is not a hundred percent poison. It only has three <laughs> percent. The Lord told me through the revelation, he said, that's the same thing as the devil, son. He just needs a little bit. He doesn't need 100% to open the door. With a little bit of poison, 3% kills a rat. A little leaven. Huh? A little leaven. Yeah. He just needs a little. You know, when you're clean, all you need is just a little. You know, I used to do 300 dollars of coke a day a hundred dollars of crystal meth a day that's a lot that's a lot let me tell you those are they're done you know that that's a lot because i was a person that you know nobody can beat me in doing drugs and drink that that was my mentality <laughs> and i would even stab people because they're not like you're weak you know what they, they wanted to eat at 12 one the munchies uh, this you hang around with me there's no munchies around me you know, you hang around with me now. It's all about God, not the devil. Amen. Yes, I, don't, Lord, I, don't, man. I don't. I don't play games because I know, I know that if I would just slip a little and go back, I will not be alive. Because I'm a great vessel of the King, and he, and and I, I'm helping people to get out of their caves, out of their bondages, out of darkness. The thing that devil's gonna let me. Uh -uh. I, 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 you know, the Lord revealed to me, even if you did five dollars, ten dollars, Ruben, you'll old be and die. Yeah, yeah. When before I thought I was it and I could handle it, you know, no, 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 you cannot be deceived by the spirit of divination. How many say amen? amen. amen. Hallelujah, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Hallelujah, five minutes and we're done. Say thank you, Lord. thank you, because I want to go home. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've, been I've been here already close to two hours. Now. <laughs> How does the spirit of, of Python and divination attack? I'm going to give you four, four ways. 
first, it tries to grab your mind and your heart. Number two, it tries to sponge the life out of you, the breath of, of God in you and the joy of the Lord out of you. Once the, the, the spirit gets the joy of the Lord, you don't have and you don't have a, a esperanza, a hope that you want to go to church, that you want to go praise the Lord, that you want to do this. Mm -hmm. It steals the joy out of you. That's why it's very strategic because the joy of the Lord is what? Our strength. You don't have no more strength to keep on going forward. Number three, it tries to suck the light and the destiny of God in your life. And number four, it brings a spirit of heaviness in you that you feel overwhelmed, overloaded, that so heavy that you just lock yourself up in a room. And the worst thing that you can do is get in a dark room because that's where he wants you. He doesn't want no light. And once it's all dark, he kills you. The matter, because there's no light to save you no more. Oh, man. The worst thing that you can do when you fall is to get be isolated. Because that's where he wants you to be isolated away from everything. Away from your pastor. Away from your brothers and sisters. Away from God. Away from the church. Because he has you alone. And when you're alone, you don't have no help. How I many know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, 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 I thank you for this day. I thank, thank you for this day. day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Say, hallelujah. 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 This um, spirit of uh, a divination. Is the same spirit like Jezebel, the spirit of control. They all work together. When somebody tries to control you, um, they're operating with a spirit of divination to keep you away from the prophetic. So mm. you cannot grow and be built up and used by God. How many say amen? Amen. amen. I'm going to stop there. I feel, you know, I was going to have something else, but I just feel that I want to minister. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. And uh, speak into your life. Say hallelujah. 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 What did you receive from the Lord today, real quick? I just feel so bad. I just, I loud, mean, loud. I just feel so bad. I received this. Wait, wait, let me. This was so good. I received a clear understanding of everything, especially around this time of Halloween. I felt like it was very powerful to hear your experiences and your testimonies about the demons and how to tell the spirit of divination, the Leviathan, the Python spirit. Everything was so powerful. And and, and also just to know how to prophesy and the difference how to tell between the two. Amen. I'm going to say amen. 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 Praise God. Yeah, I'll, I'll receive a few things today. Um, just some uh, more understanding of divination and uh, it's a clear understanding of prophecy, uh, breaking down through the word, the scriptures, and um, yeah, uh, Acts 16. Um, I had read through that before, but um, that brought some more light to you know um, divination and what what to be or what to be aware of. Uh, and operates in the church. Um, you know, not, not to be deceived by. Mm -hmm. uh, keep your, 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 your discerning eye open, you know, and watching out for it. Mm -hmm. And not, 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 letting, not, let, not letting it deceive you. Remember yeah. that the, the prophetic word always brings edification, consolation, yeah. and it builds you up, it brings comfort. Well, <clears throat> what I learned today is uh, the, the difference between the prophet, the, the office of a prophet, and then the, the gift of prophecy, and also uh, the, um, the gifts of the church, which is the Bible ministry, 
and the spirit of divination and how it functions. Remember that every one of us, the Lord wants us to prophesy. Mm -hmm. See, the Lord gave me this. I, every year, he, 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 he gives me what to put. This year was to prophesy. This is a Hebrew symbol, which is the number two. And he told me it's for the year 2022. And it's a form of a mouth. And he says, tell my people that this is a year to prophesy more than ever. This is a year that not to let anything and anyone stop you from prophesying, from amen. decreeing and declaring. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Praise God, man. It was so much, so powerful. Um, it gave me a lot of clarity. Um, it brought correction into my life and also encouragement. Honestly, I, 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 I've gone through this uh, and I went through it for a really long time. Like, like pretty much everything you were talking about, you know, the whole addiction and all that stuff. And I, I didn't know, I had no clue, you know, right now I'm like, uh, man, so this is what, you know, what was happening, you know? So it definitely uh, gave me uh, um, wisdom, you know, to, to, to avoid what I, you know, because we don't have the made, right? So just, hey man, remember what he said? Wisdom. My people perish for lack of what? Knowledge. knowledge. How many say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Also, people perish, and another translation said, for lack of revelation. Where there's no revelation, people die. People wonder what who they are, what they're doing, where, where they're supposed to go. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, thank you for, uh, I received today understanding. The understanding of, of the spirit of divination that not only has been going around in the church is actually going around everywhere, everywhere. And, and it seems more so now this season. Um, so a lot of clarity, a lot of understanding, a lot of understanding of, of, of the office of prophecy and, and the difference between the prophesying. Um, it, it just elevated me to a, a, a higher level of understanding. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I learned a lot of things, but the one thing that he said that really stuck to me was at the end when, when he's trying to take everything that God has given us and, and don't ever go in, into the dark room because mm -hmm. that's where he'll deplete you of everything because you have no protection because you're out of the light. And Amen. That, really, that really spoke to me. And it goes back to what we said earlier was that if we abide in him, we are assured that that light will abide in us, and there's no way that the enemy can even touch us. Amen. 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 You know, I, I, I want to add something to that. When I was in the world, I, 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 I bachelored and I went away from the things of God, and um, people will come, and they will say, hey, pastor. And I will get so mad, so pissed off. And I say, I'm not a pastor. I'm in the world. You know, but you know what? One time, the revelation came from God unto me. And, and, he, and he told me, son, there's still a little bit of me in there. Right. <laughs> you know, it, it was like this. 99 of the world, but 1% of me, you're still of me mm. and he told me I'm, I'm just letting the enemy train you and use you because when you come for me you're already going to be prepared for me mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's really something the way the lord told me if you think about it it's true, it's true. hallelujah Venga, hermano. Bueno. Uh, es mi primera vez aquí y pude aprender, escuchar cosas que no había escuchado antes. Wow, I heard things today that I never have heard. Eh, y aprendí a diferenciar lo que es una profecía y lo que es eh, la adivinación. And I, and I learned today, very impacting, what's the difference of the gift of prophecy and the gift of uh, divination. I learned now um, what's the difference. Y esto pues me abre los ojos porque This opened my eyes. aprendí cómo debo alejarme de esas personas. I have to let go of people that are ah, doing that. Porque son 
negativas para el espíritu. They're negative in the spirit realm. Give up your offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Shine. Today I received um, a revelation of how you were speaking about like little demons, how they're writing notes and we're not praying, we're not fasting, and he sends it to the big boss, and it, it keeps me on my toes and uh, reminds me always to be praying, getting up in the morning, and uh, keeping a routine of fasting and sacrificing. Um, and yeah, well, thank you so much. Say amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pick up a love offering, also an autumn offering, whatever you want to give, hallelujah. And then we're going to give an offering um, to the prophet of the south, which is me. Vamos a dar una ofrenda especial para el día de, de, del pastor de este mes. So right now you bring your love offering um, to the Lord. If you want to do it through Zell, do it through Zell. Ruben Valle 77 at gmail.com through Cash App. Is dollar sign Prophet Ruben Valles. Por Zell, Ruben Valles 7777 arroba gmail.com. Por Cash App, signo del dólar, Profeta Ruben Valles. Can you put some music? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's your name? All the information. What's your information? All the information. Hallelujah. Huh? Yeah. You'll get a number of what is the offering. And also, if you want to put um, name your seat, one of them is the Hallelujah. Very important that you name your seat always. Whatever you want to name it. <laughs> right? Amen. Today you, you put the name on it. Remember, if you do not have it, you can make a covenant with God. When he gives you the seed, you give it later. But if you have it, you give it today. 
Don't let the spirit of divination trick you or deceive you and say, oh, the prophet says you don't have to give a Everybody stand. Hallelujah. I'm going to minister to everybody one by one. Everybody stretch your hands to a better place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says today, today is your day of divine appointment. Hoy es el día de tu cita divina. Hoy te ungo en tus manos para que nunca te con manos vacías. Today, I anoint your hands so that you never will be with empty hands. The Lord says, I anoint your head. Ungo tu cabeza. Porque eres cabeza, no eres cola. You're the head and not the tail, that says the Lord. The Lord says, this is the day that I've been waiting for. Este es el día que he estado esperando en el nombre de Jesús. Ah, ah, hey, Ricardo. Come here, stay right here. Come yeah, let them come and Yeah, don't move. Nobody moves because it, it distracts the, the move of, of the spirit. Y dice el Señor, hoy te levanto en lugares que el hombre no te puede llevar. Today I take you to places where man cannot take you. Today is the day of your breakthrough. Hoy es el día de tu rompimiento. Dice el Señor, todo lo que el diablo te trató de robar, él te tiene que regresarte los siete veces. He has to return it seven times. The Lord says, today, I have surely seen your heart. He mirado tu corazón. Y dice el Señor, todo los deseos te lo voy a dar. Todo se va a cumplir. Dice el Señor, descansa en mí, reposa en mí, frente en mí. The Lord says, I'm even extending years of life. Estoy extendiendo Años de vida a tu vida. Amen. Dice el Señor, te faltan muchos años. There's a long life that you will live. 
Amen. And the Lord says, because you believe in my prophets, the prosperity has been released today. Porque el creyó mi profeta, toda la prosperidad del cielo ha venido en ti. Ahora, ahora, in the name of Jesus. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Move this right out the way. Move it out the way. Move it out the Move it with force. Move it with force. It's okay. El Señor dice, the Lord says, you are my chosen vessel. The Lord says, he takes the old cult of the past, the old mindset of the past, the old things of the past, and he puts on you a new coat. He puts on you a new mantle that man cannot give it to you, only God. The Lord says, today, is a day of new beginnings. Today, everything goes that is not of God. Light be in your life. Light be in your soul. Light be, Light be in your mind. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 Everything. Out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that is out of God has to come out. In Jesus' name, say out, out. Everything that is not of God, I renounce all words of the devil. And I'm back to stay for good. I renounce. All works of the enemy, all assignments of the enemy, all lies of the enemy. Very good. Let's leave. It's leaving. It's leaving. It's leaving. Let it go. Let it go. Release it. Release it all. Oh, oh, oh. Release it. 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 In the name of the Son Jesus, in the name of the Holy Spirit, I command you. Every you cannot hide in there no more. You must come out. You have to come out. You must come out. You have to come out. Every spirit contrary to the Holy Spirit has to be now by the power of God, by the nails that were. On his body. Some you cannot stay here no more. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This water. No. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your legs. Open your mouth. This water is blessed by the power of the prophetic. Everything that is not of God will come out. And everything that is God will stay. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of God. You can go to your seat. Quickly, quickly. In the name of Jesus. It is gone in Jesus' name. Give a cup of Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm ready to receive my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that he'll receive everything what he came for today. Nothing lacking, nothing missing. Now, oh. by the power of God, there it is. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly, brother, Ray, quickly. The Lord says from this day forward, 
Arras. You will touch his garment. You will receive revelation. There it is. There it is. Receive it all. Fire. Fire. What's your name, man of God? Jason. Jason, I'm going to prophesy what your name means symbolically and prophetically. You're going to say J and then A and go, go, and go on. In the mighty name of Jesus, go on. Yes. Just about this time tomorrow, you'll receive a visitation and a revelation mm -hmm. from me like never before, thus mm -hmm. says the Lord. Quickly. Yes. Hey, angels have been released and assigned to you from the north, south, east, and west. Amen. The main angel is the angel of prosperity that goes before you, mm. opening doors. And the Lord says, the doors are open. You just have to grab everything that is laid there before your eyes, that says the Lord. Yes. Supernatural signs, wonders, and miracles. You will perform from this day forward because the Lord says, I have anointed your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, oh, other supernatural blessings have been released from the heavens. From this day forward, you will always live under an open heaven, thus says the Lord. Yes. Yeah. No weapon mm. formed against you in any way, form, shape, or size will ever oh, prosper you. In yes. the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. receive it, receive it. Receive it. Nice. Receive everything from the prophetic. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says, You're my chosen one. You're a pillar in my temple. I will show you things that you do not know of. And I will reveal to you in dreams and in visions. Everything that is going on and everything that is going to happen. The Lord says, from this day forward, from this day forward, your life is about to be transformed. And as the, your life is being transformed, as your eyes are being opened, to leave everything that is not of God and to receive everything from God, you will deliver. You won't even have to say, Papa Ruben, can you deliver this person? The Lord says, I will give you the authority, I'll give you the power, and I'll give you the anointing to break the yokes and take the bondages and set the captives free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As I'm here, those people that you have encountered and that surround you, they're being touched right now. Miss. What's the other person name? There's one that fits in the effort. What's her name? Huh? He needs to come tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. It's important. Receive it. Receive new ideas, new strategies, new revelations. I step on your seat as the spiritual father that you will not go to the left or to the right, but just go straight in this narrow path. No one can take you from the hand of God. No one can take you from the assignment or the purpose that God has placed in you. The Lord says, He's going to visit your thoughts out within seven days for your sacrifices in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, protect your children, protect your husband, protect your marriage, protect your family. The Lord says, sow a seed for your family, just like Job did, and you'll see the glory of God. It'll be secure that nothing will happen to them. Amen. Your destiny in Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Here, let me here. Hold this for for right there. Sit down. Sit down. Right sit down. No, oh. sit down right here. Lift up your hand. The Lord says this is something prophetic, this blouse that you're wearing. You're the one that sold this curtain. Hear what the Lord says. And the Lord says, you might go, oh, I'm going to get this because it looks nice. But the Lord said, no, today is the prophetic day because I'm taking you to another dimension. Mm -hmm. The Lord says, I want to show you how to break the curses of words of the enemy in the atmosphere. And nothing will harm you. Nothing will touch you. When, when family members or anybody brings 
a word of discouragement, you will know what to do. And immediately those giants will fall before you, that says the Lord. The Lord says, as you hold your hands unto, unto him, he's holding your future. He's holding your destiny. He's holding your calling in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord says, from this day forward, you will perform signs, wonders, and miracles. The Lord says, it's in you. It's in you, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says, from this day forward, you will start hearing things, and the rain will start pouring out as you hear these things. You'll have visitations. Because you say, Lord, I want to have visitations from angels. I want to wow. have that experience. Hear the rain. Wow. Hear the rain. May you receive the former rain and the latter rain and the latter rain will be greater Hallelujah. than ever. Everybody extend your hands like this. We quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah, like you're going to receive something from the Lord. As I release these prayer cloths with signs, wonders, and miracles, the Lord says it will be the point of contact with signs, wonders, and miracles. This is a sacred and holy thing. Do not take it lightly. Put it in your wallet. Put it in a freezer baggie. In the mighty name of Jesus. Señal, in the nombre de Jesus. I release. I release. Look at, I got him exactly. Oh my God, he always does these things. I release the signs, the wonders, and the miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I release signs, wonders, and miracles. When everybody is sick, you'll put this cloth in the part and it will go immediately. Any kind of sickness, any kind of infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Said, because this will be the point of contact. I even see you going to a house and to a hospital with this cloth. And you say, the Lord gave me this special anointing and I see you putting it on a woman, it's an elderly woman and I, I see you putting it like this in the forehead and immediately restoration and healing and life is going to come into you. I decree life and I renounce and I reject, I curse and rebuke the spirit of death in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now under this anointing get the where's the 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 envelopes, give them to me quickly. And this envelope is for today to honor the prophet of this house. Hallelujah. You pass them out. Give your very best seed. Dar tu mejor. God is saying, son, it's going to be a $77 seed. Uno va a ser siete, siete, siete. Um, Some is going to be $100. Uno va a ser 111. The 111 seed. It's according to Deuteronomy 111, where it says, The God of our fathers has promised us your business a thousand times more in Jesus' name. It's, we're still on, right? And you, somebody's going to sow a $555 seat, and one is going to sow a $1,000. The one that sows the $1,000, the Lord says, Within 11 days from now, I prophesy. A supernatural breakthrough in your finances like never before. And you must testify in public in Jesus' mighty name. I bless your seed with an increase, with abundance, with an overflow and a multiplication that this seed will never stop. That will, it will always prosper in everything in Jesus' name. Give your seed quickly. Just put it here in the ground. If you don't have that seed, sow that in faith and say, Lord, I'm going give, to give it to you in seven days or in one week or in one month, Lord. God gives seed to the sower. I decree that your hands will never be empty no more. That your, that your hand will always be full. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Is the thing correct? 
to the altar of the end. May the Lord bless you all on Zoom. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, I don't have to send them the Zoom link, right? We, they can use the same one. We can use the same one. We well, can use the same one. You can use the same one tomorrow at um, at nine o'clock in the morning. A las nueve de la mañana. I love you. I honor you, and I. And may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give a cup of praise to the Lord. Thank you, Lord.